A week ago, it looked like he'd be governor by now, but after a second accuser came forward late on Friday, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax is facing calls for his immediate resignation. He needs to resign immediately. Lieutenant Virginia governor, State Delegate Patrick Hope so. was blunt. On Monday, I intend to introduce articles of impeachment on Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. The accusation this time, rape. Meredith Watson says it happened in 2000 when she and Fairfax were both students at Duke University. In a statement, Watson describes the attack as premeditated and aggressive. To bolster her charge, a PR firm working with Watson's attorney released what they say are past electronic messages with friends, including an email dated October 2016, where Watson writes, Justin raped me in college. The charge comes after Dr. Vanessa Tyson, earlier in the week, accused Fairfax of sexually assaulting her in 2004, when they were both in Boston to attend the Democratic National Convention. Fairfax is fighting back. In a statement, he says, I deny this latest unsubstantiated allegation. It is demonstrably false. I have never forced myself on anyone, ever. He calls for an investigation into what he terms a vicious and coordinated smear campaign and adds, I will not resign. Just hours before Watson's charge was made public, Fairfax was defiant when approached by NBC News. Do you, do you support investigation into the allegation yeah. against you, sir? Uh, yeah, we, we will have our say, and I am confident in the truth. But prominent Democrats are lining up to insist he go. Former Governor Terry McAuliffe, the Black Caucus in the Virginia State House, and 19 members of the Democratic Caucus of the State Senate, where, as Lieutenant Governor, Fairfax presides. And as of late Friday, several presidential candidates have called for Fairfax to step down, including Cory Booker. I just believe it's time for him to, to step down, to resign. And Mike, what a difference a week makes. This time last week, we were talking about that blackface KKK scandal with the governor of Virginia, Ralph Northam, at the time. Most everybody said he simply could not survive it politically. So where do things stand this morning? Well, you're absolutely right, Peter. Remember, after that, surf, uh, that picture surfaced from that 1984 yearbook photograph of blackface standing next to an individual in a KKK hood, uh, this place erupted. It was uh, besieged by media. Uh, Ralph Northam has lasted the week, contrary to expectations. Yesterday, we're told he had a meeting with his senior staff, and he told them, I will not resign. Mm.